Hello, it's me, Norm, again from MyBeerQuest.com. Thank you and welcome to uh, another uh, beer expedition. And um, today we have an interesting beer. Uh, first of all, if you're wondering about this, well, um, this was something uh, L. Harlock. I don't know if you ever watched his uh, beer reviews. I believe it's youtube.com slash L. Harlock. I'll put a link somewhere. Um, it suggested I grow one of these. I don't know why, but, um, so I tried, but I don't think it's going to last. I think I might actually shave it because it's actually scaring my friends and family. <laughs> so the next time you see me, I probably won't have this. <laughs> I just wanted to try it. You know, someone suggested it, so I gave it a try. Um, so the next beer, um, comes from Japan. Um, as you, yeah, you may know, I always look for beers from everywhere and uh, try to find the best from wherever I can. Uh, I've had um, a rice lager by this company before. Uh, the company's called Ichigo. And uh, so uh, here is the label. Ichigo Stout. And I don't know if you guys watch... Uh, Probably pronouncing this incorrectly, but uh, then I'll, I'll put up a link. Uh, Yuchi Tuba's um, videos. He started out doing um, like he talked about Japanese culture and translations, and he started doing beer reviews. So <laughs> I kind of got the best of both worlds there. Um, very interesting stuff, though. Um, so uh, I find his uh, videos uh, much more interesting than mine. <laughs> I'll put up a link. Um, but I'm wondering about uh, his take if he's ever had this one. I I'll have to look at his uh, see if I if he's had it. I missed it. But um, as you uh, may remember, I don't know if you watched maybe a year or so ago. I posted uh, their Ichigo Rice Lager. I was in uh, Little Tokyo in downtown Los Angeles when I was uh, having sushi. It actually went very nice with sushi. Um, it was really nice actually to have a a beer from Japan when you're eating sushi uh, because most <laughs> Japanese beers you buy here are actually licensed uh, and brewed here uh, such as uh, Ichi, uh, Kiran Ichiban that's actually made a few miles away from me <laughs> and owned by Anheuser-Busch InBev but, but this one's actually from Japan I'll put a link to their website uh, and it might not be in English I'm sorry <laughs> But that's that's been my experience in the past when I'm looking at Japanese spears. I can't find the English website. Uh, maybe Yuchi Tuba can help with that. But um, uh, I find this label really fascinating, um, just because you know it has a little guy there with the tonbos. Um, looks like he has tonbos anyway. And that I've seen that uh, whenever I look up uh, Kabuto, I, uh, I've seen that uh, symbol a lot. Uh, being referred to as with uh, Kabuto, which is, means the old martial way. Um, me and the FUS <laughs> look up Kabuto weapons, you'll see all the weapons like uh, the Tanbo. So just two sticks, short sticks, I think is what translation, because this is the bow. And then there's the Joe, which is short, oh, six foot three, right? And um, it's called the Tanfa. If I'm pronouncing that correctly, it's just similar to to the tonbo. Uh, so I thought that was interesting. I study uh, these weapons. Um, so I thought I thought that was interesting that it looks like he's holding the tonbo. Maybe it's like we might have some nunchucks there. Uh, yeah, if you uh, ever seen the movie, uh, I think it was Game of Death with Bruce Lee. Yeah, there's a great uh, fight scene in there with the tonbo and Bruce Lee has this. Um, thing of uh, bamboo they <laughs> whipping the guy with. Very interesting. Uh, if you like Bruce Lee movies. Oh, I forgot to show you the cap. A very cool cap with uh, look like grain and uh, hops on it. Uh, you know, I never know what glass to use, but I thought this was some really cool glass.
Look at that, how dark that is. That is uh, one dark beer. Let's see here. Oh, it's shining a light. Heads seem to dissipate fairly quickly. Yeah, this doesn't didn't really work out at all like I thought it would. It's a really nice stout. It's kind of hard to go wrong with a stout, <laughs> but um, it's a really good one. Mm. I like it because it's it's not too heavy um, like other stouts I've had. It's, it's, but it's seven percent alcohol per volume. If you're wondering, um, get really a uh, smoky uh, finish to it. Kind of a um, huh. it's smooth. It's a it's a really well balanced stout. And like I said, it's not too thick. Very nice. So, uh, yeah, uh, give it a try if uh, if you can find it. I remember it was uh, kind of difficult for me to find. Uh, or uh, you know, if you're interested in the brewery uh, and their rice logger, they have a rice logger, which generally, I, you know, I, I, they, theirs was a pretty good rice log logger. Um, Generally, I, I really don't care for rice loggers that much, but I don't know when you're going out for sushi. I guess it's uh, more of the environment anyway. But uh, well, I'm gonna look again for this one. See if I can find it. Hmm. Really nice looking beer. Well, till next time. Thanks for stopping by. Cheers. Enjoy your beer, and. Uh, and like I said, check out some of the other beer reviews on uh, YouTube, and if you don't like them, you know, start your own. <laughs> Cheers.